What's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you 15 different ways that you can use a 5-in-1 reflector for your next video. Reflectors are cheap, easy to travel with, and super versatile. Now you've probably seen them a hundred times all over different photo shoots and things like that, but I'm going to show you guys a couple different ways to use them that you may never have thought of before. So let's check it out. Using the gold side, you can bounce some sunlight back into your subject's face, making it look like it's golden hour. Now, I wouldn't use this all the time because it doesn't give you the most natural look, but if used correctly, it can look pretty nice. If you're shooting at night, but you need your window to be in the scene, what you're going to want to do is put up your large reflector in front of that window and then shine a light directly through it. And this is going to make it blow out and look like there's actually sunlight coming through the window. If you're shooting in direct sunlight or in the middle of the day and it's high noon and there's no nice light out, you can use the diffusion to let the sun go through it and then it provides a really nice soft light on your subject and basically gets rid of all those ugly hard shadows. This can create some really beautiful looks when there's no nice lighting or shade outside. If you want to block some light coming in through a window, just grab one of the larger reflectors and throw it up in front of the window and it works perfectly. Using the silver side, you can bounce a nice beam of light back into your subject's face that doesn't have that added gold color and it just looks a little bit more neutral and adds more fill when you're shooting out in the sun. If you want a nice smooth surface to launch off of or land on, it works perfect for that, especially if you're in really tall grass because I found that sometimes it can mess with the sensors when you're trying to land the drone. If you're going for a really windblown look, you can use it to blast some gusts of air at your model. Just don't annoy her with it too much. You can use it as a flag to block light and keep it from spilling all over the room, especially onto walls and such, if you're trying to keep your subject lit, but not everything around them. You can shine your light through diffusion and directly onto your subject's face, and this will get you some really nice soft lighting and get rid of any hard shadows. This kind of look works perfectly when you're doing beauty shoots. If you want to get a nice clean look for some talking head, just shine a bright light onto the white side and you'll be all ready to go. If you're on a shoot outdoors and there's nowhere to put your equipment down, Throw that reflector down and stage your gear on top of it to keep the dust off of your lenses and other equipment. You can add some fill light to a subject's face by bouncing sunlight or another light off the white side of the reflector. Use your reflector to bounce some really nice top light down onto some products and you'll get a really nice soft lighting for your next product shoot. You could use the black side as negative fill if you're just getting too much light on one side of their face. You could prop it up and add a lot more shadow and depth to the other side of their face. Bounce a light off the gold side of a reflector and then wiggle it around and it'll give you that nice flicker effect so it looks like there's a fire in the room or it can help augment the flicker coming off of some candles to make your scene look even more authentic. If you don't already own a reflector, be sure to pick one up and add it to your kit. They have so many awesome uses like I've shown you guys. I use them honestly on a daily basis for all different things. So I've linked to a couple of the ones that I personally use down in the description. So be sure to check those out. Guys, if you want to learn how to light and shoot better videos, hit subscribe right now. I have so many more videos coming out on shooting, editing, everything like that. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.